Hello again, everybody. It's Barbara. And today we are going to be looking at what is a really charming concept, the Rement Mermaid Room. Uh, as always, I get the full collection of the blind boxes. This is what one of the blind boxes would look like. There were eight boxes all together. Some of the pieces working better than others, and some of them are just what is happening to our lives. Um, so let, let, let me state the obvious. Here is, here is me. We know I am a 12-inch action. I am, we are a 12-inch doll. By the way, wearing the lovely La Boutique. We pan down and we go to both sides and we see the furniture is not close, not even close. The accessories may or may not work. We will talk about that, but let's go to the larger pieces first, the accessories first. Um, we have what is supposed to be a chair, which I suppose could work as a really fun um, beanbag chair for Tommy or Kelly or Chrissy. It is very small, and you can see that I have on it an oversized, exaggerated pearl. And one of their fish bowls. Back to me. Back to the chair. I mean, it's all. It it, it looks like a large tote bag or briefcase opened up. Like if you were going to be really funny and fancy, and if that could open or close, that would actually be a really fun briefcase or tote bag like a mermaid themed briefcase or tote bag it neither it does not open and close it is frozen in this position i i i literally have no idea what you can do with this except to use it as perhaps a little tiny chair for the little tiny people we have all sorts of little accessories and i'm not sure uh what we do with these this is clearly supposed to be a soap bottle or potion bottle of some kind. This is a pump bottle of shampoo, conditioner, hand sanitizer, whatever you want it to be. But nice in that shell design. This is clearly a fancy perfume bottle. Does not open. You have a bottle of nail polish. Also does not open, but it's a nice shade of lilac. You have this, which is supposed to be another pearl and shell, trinket of some kind. Then you have, and this does open, it is a compact, and I had to put the mirror in, the puff comes out. That's cute. We also have, I have no idea what in God's name this is supposed to be. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to hold rings, it's supposed to hold jewelry, it's supposed to hold something. It's a crab that looks like he's about to give you shots. It is a little small to be a drink holder, as you can see. Speaking of drinks, now this is interesting. This is the tea. And the tea is purple, which is cool because it's supposed to be like an herbal tea. This is the teapot. But the teapot is blue. So I don't know. You, I, I guess is I don't know. If this is a deal where if it cools off, it turns blue, and that's that's a thing now. I do not know. Um, this is this could be the lid. By the way, what I just put in this could be the lid to the perfume. It's purple. I was using it as the stopper for what I thought was drinks. I 
I have to have to consult the uh, the handouts for a second. This and this are supposed to work together. This is supposed to be. Am I putting this in? Oh, okay, no. This was right. This is supposed to be the stopper for another beverage of some kind. There is no food, but there is a fork. And a plate. So if you want to give Chrissy in particular, or Tommy, a seafood themed dish. There is a brush. That's halfway decent scale for us. Halfway decent. This is a hat rack with what is supposed to be a hat. Good luck finding someone who could actually fit into that hat. And of course, again, we have the shoes. I'm telling you right now, I tried. This is another case where I have a poppy, which is, tends to run the smaller feet of the Integrity Toy series. This is Poppy's foot. This is the shoe. Don't, I mean, even if I warmed up the shoe, This is not, I mean, I, you, maybe, maybe this pair, if I want, maybe if I warmed up the shoe a little bit, but I, I don't know if I'd be breaking the plastic. This, if you want to take the chance, this set, you might get away with it. You might be able to get Poppy's foot in here. So that's a, that's a, that's a thought and a consideration. We have a photo frame. Lovely little photo frame. And again, these tend to be the best part. Because you can put any sort of picture you want in here. Just slip it in. There you go. There is a second photo, by the way. There is also what I believe is supposed to be a mermaid-themed pen. This might actually be really cool for the Meezy line, which uh, is mermaid themed. So you might want to keep that in mind. This is kind of cool. You have a book that does not open. I had to attach the, 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 the sticker, the binding around it. It's a book about mermaids. Doesn't open. You might also, this is supposed to be a photo album or a keepsake slide of your trip to Mermaid Land. And you're supposed to be able to slip another photo in there if you wanted to. This is supposed to be another jewelry holder, I suspect. It's cute. Kind of matches the dress. Not a bad scale to sit on top of an of a uh, boudoir. This is a shell purse. As you can see, the the chain is very delicate, and I'm not even sure this can open. Oh yes, I'm lying. It opens very delicately, so be very careful with all of this. You could use it if you don't want to risk losing the chain. Use it as a clutch. The compact just fits in there. You just saw it, but the compact just fits in there. And again, this might be cute for, you know, any sort of beach theme. Um, the Poppy in particular. Well, Poppy's outfit is purple, so this isn't really going to go with Poppy's outfit. But if they do another run with Poppy Parker in particular, I would think this would be cute. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fur. Well, before we look at the furniture, because uh, we'll work our way up to it. This is another trinket box. Nice trinket box. 
all sorts of very tiny little pieces I put in here. We have a pearl necklace not going around anybody's ear. We have a bracelet which may or may not go around the wrist. I'll try it out in a second. We have a not particularly shiny, you might want to clean it up, dust it up, polish it up, emerald. This is one of two what, what are called votive candles. A little, a little small even to be a votive candle, but sort of in the neighborhood of it. And this is what you would put in, like if you're going to church or something. To go along with the emerald, you have what I originally thought was a root. Well, it's, well I'm not allowed to have nice things. Uh, this is a ruby. Again, polish it up. There are two votive candles, of which this is the second. Those have, you know, by the way, those do have playability, that if you want to go with that, those do have playability in any sort of, um, especially around the holidays, if you have like a smaller votive vase or something, you could definitely do that. This is supposed to be an earring. There is backing on it. Oops. You will have to... You'll have to trust me when I tell you this. There is backing on it. Um, I 100% recommend using it as a prop and nothing else. And there are two sets. Obviously, this is a complete set of earrings. I'm just not going to take them out of the trinket box. There was also a piece of lemon because you can't have tea, evidently, without lemon. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, least we forget to garnish. Let's go ahead and see. I shall take myself out of frame for a moment. We will see. It will, it will definitely work as a dangle bracelet. Or as a key to something, but if you don't have the kind of wrist that can come off, you're not going to be able to use this. The rest of the furniture is problematic. Um, this is supposed to be a phonograph. It's a cute idea. Even comes with a record. Cute idea. If you this is if you remember what a record is and how records work. If you remember, because you're fucking old. I should not have probably put the sticker on this, but okay, here you go. The record's in place. Evil goes on. It plays. It's going to, of course, play that Bobby Daring classic, Somewhere Beyond the Sea. There is this lovely cream-colored mirror, which, again, it, it does move. I did have to put the sticker on it. The back is a mermaid. Maybe they should have held this until the, until the, the Little Mermaid movie came out. I don't know. Little table, very little. Almost works as, like, a lap desk. And then we have this set. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a, like a dry sink or what have you, but it is very small. Uh, this is a set where you have a lot, you, you, this is a set where there's some playability, of course, um, but the playability really depends on you getting very creative. 
So let me just quickly go through and show you, because this, unlike the Rosen Castle set from last week, um, or Rosen Palace, this one actually you did have to do a little more cutting out uh, than I was particularly willing to do. So, for example, if you notice the blue bottle, you could cut out and do the message in the bottle. There is the message in said bottle. And there is the box for I don't know what that was supposed to be. Um, oh, okay. The votive candles. Remember I was saying I have no idea what the votive candles do? I thought they were just supposed to go along by the bath. This is a crab who clearly does not understand that fire is not his friend. Cute idea, but does somebody want to tell the crab that that's how he dies? Um, and I discovered that by looking at the bathtub, which, by the way, I mean, a baby bath, a fancy baby bath for baby Chrissy, like a layette. That's what that's good for. This one had the box, like one of the perfumes come with a box. If I wanted to cut it out, I could. I don't. Again, this was to hang the bracelet on. The earrings are not going to work. The shoes on Poppy might. So that's something to think about. And if you wanted to package your gift, you could. This is the jewelry box table. And of course, any jewelry would have to come in a Tiffany blue box. I don't know if the idea is you're supposed to eat what's inside there. I would not eat a pearl. That is a bad idea. This is the tea set. Again, the teapot is blue. The tea is purple. And you get the tea bags and the tea box if you are so inclined to cut. What I did cut out were the postcards. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. That is, that is the set. Now, do you get this set? Um, well... The, you, there, there's a lot of if, ands, or buts. These would be, again, both Mattel and Meezy have recently done mermaid collections. So if you want to do things like, and if you want these accessories for the mermaid collections, then absolutely get this. The, period, full stop. If you want to get these accessories for the mermaid dolls, this is cute. You can definitely use um, the perfumes and the makeup and the, even the phonograph. That's perfect. You can use this as a fancy bath for a Chrissy or another baby doll. All of the makeups are, are a good size. Um, you can even turn it, you don't even have to use that as a message in the bottle. You can pretend that's whatever you want it to be. The trinket box is nice. The hairbrush is nice. Um, you could almost use, if you're somebody who does this, um, you know, somebody like Gina of Chef Gina's or One Six Sense, um, when they give you the extra ice, fill this with ice and use this as a display. You know what? As a food display, this works. This would be actually kind of cool. Maybe not caviar, but, you know, like, like summer fruits and vegetables, you could definitely do that. So if you're willing to play around that way, this can work out very nicely. Um, it is a relatively recent set. It's not like literally just now hitting the market set, but it's a relatively recent set. So if you want to, uh, you might want to check it out. Uh, but again, it's up to you and you have to decide how far you want to go playability wise. It does have some playability. It, it's an interesting set for playability, but this is not anything that you haven't seen before from them repackaged and redone. So it's really up to you that way. 
So my final thought is, if you are someone who is obviously in love with mermaids, and I know that there are people who are, get the set. Um, if you are some, or if you got the Barbie mermaids, or you you have the Meezy mermaids, get this set. Otherwise, solid pass. Okay, guys. So for me, Barbara, I will see you in my next miniature Monday. We're again staying in the Remen family, going through the Remens I've had for a while. Stuff I was able to get after a long time. So we'll we'll check these out, and I will catch everybody soon. Take care. Bye bye.